Good afternoon. My name is Ken Harden. I'm the Artistic Director of In Concert Sierra, and I'm very pleased to welcome you to this second installment of our virtual Spring Student Showcase. If you attended Friday evening's performance, you know what a treat is in store. We're aware that it's very important for students to have the opportunity to perform pieces that they've been working on. It's an essential part of their learning process as they study an instrument. So we're very pleased to be able to offer this opportunity for students and for you as an audience to see what they've been working on. So I'm going to turn things over at this point to our education director, Mark Vance, who will guide you through the afternoon's events. Thank you and enjoy. Thank you, Ken. Nice introduction. Always good to see you. What a afternoon we have for you today. We have 11 students, uh, all who have been practicing, 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 and they put together a virtual recital for you. This is In Concert Sierra's Spring Student Showcase, part two. We're glad you're joining us, and we'd like to start right off with Baraka. He is 13, he's playing piano, and he's playing two Chopin etudes. Hi, I'm Baraka. I'm 13 years old, and I've been playing piano for eight years. I'm going to play Chopin. The first piece I'm going to play is Trois Etudes Number 1 on Dantino. <laughs> The second Chopin piece is Trois Etudes Number no. Two Allegretto. Thank you. 
One of my goals in music is to compose more. I'd like to thank my piano teacher Lynn Shugrin, my parents, and in concert Sierra. I'd also like to thank Mark Vance for teaching the Composers Project. Well, thank you, Baraka. This is a gorgeous performance. It's always wonderful to get to hear Chopin. Well, I'd like to just say that we had such a wonderful turnout for this recital and 22 different students from all over the region submitted uh, videos of their performance. And some of them were really uh, stymied. And I think it was hard because they would record it and listen to it and it wasn't quite what they wanted and they'd do it again and they'd do it again and again. And all of that's great practice and that's really the whole idea of this recital is to give students an opportunity to practice performing. I'd like to move on. Uh, next up is Candace. She's playing the cello and she's eight years old. She's playing two Borets by J.S. Bach. Hello, my name is Candace Lee and I'm nine years old. I played cello for three and a half years. Today I'm going to play Beret 1 and Beret 2 in Bach Suite number 3.
Candace, that was a beautiful job. There's nothing quite like hearing Bach on the cello. Great job. And I think you brought up a good point too, thanking your teacher. Uh, a big shout out on our part in Concert Sierra's part to thank all the teachers that are out there, certainly teaching music, especially at this time where so many of us, so many of us are teaching online. Not quite the same situation as normal music lessons, but making the best of it. So a big shout out to all the teachers there, especially the ones who were involved in this recital. Let's move ahead. We have Ariana. She's nine, I believe, playing piano. Flight of the Broomsticks. Hi, my name is Ariana. I'm nine years old, and um, I've been playing the piano for one year and three months. The piece that I am playing is the Flight of the Broomsticks. for teaching me the song. Also, I want to thank my grandma and grandpa and for supporting me and the In Concert Sierra for supporting me too. Um, I performed this for, well, practiced it for about one month and I feel pretty good about performing on the internet and I hope that a lot of people around the world um, watch this. And um, when I'm at home, I ride my bike a lot, um, and I do my cook on the Zoom, and my piano on Zoom, and I play the piano a lot. Ariana, thank you. That was a fabulous job. We appreciate the fact that you participated in this recital. I'd like to move right ahead. This is Nicholas next. He's a violinist, he's 10 years old, and he's playing Andantino by Suzuki. Hello, my name is Nicholas. I am 10 years old. I've been playing the violin for eight months. My teacher's name is Zoe Slushel. I will be playing Allegretto by Suzuki.
I like to play the violin. Thank you to my family and my teacher Zoe. I hope my grandma and grandpa and my naughty can see me tonight. Nicholas, great job. Great job. You did a wonderful job playing the violin. We're going to jump ahead and hear Anna. She's nine. She's playing the cello and she's playing Allegro from Perpetual Motion by Suzuki. Hi, I'm Anna. I've been playing cello for two years. I'm eight years old. I'm going to play Allegro. <laughs> Thank you, Anna. Nice job. Really marvelous playing. Nice to see your teacher there in the window as well. Next up is Sarah. She's eight. And Amanda. She's 10. They are playing a piano duet. My name is Sarah. McBride. I've been studying for three years and I'm 10 years old. Uh, my name is Amanda McBride and I've also been studying for three years and I'm 12 years old. Uh, the piece we're going to be playing is Ode to Joy by Beethoven. because um, this year is Beethoven's 300th birthday. Um, and we enjoyed it um, because we enjoy playing piano. Uh, thank you, Mrs. Poff and uh, in, in concert, Sierra, for this opportunity. Thank you. It's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> well, so you can have fun performing as well. I have to say, it's uh, fun to hear 
piano duet because when I was that age, I was playing piano duets with my sisters and uh, very fond memories of that. So well done, girls. Nice job. Next, we have Zoe. She's 12 years old. She's playing the violin. Michael's Mazurka. Hi, my name is Zoe. I am 12 years old and I've been playing the violin for four and a half years. Today I'm going to be performing Michael's Mazurka by Michael Ferry. Thank you, Zoe. Both your teacher and you share the same name. That was an inspiring job. Thank you so much for playing. I'd like to give a big shout out now to all the parents and grandparents that are so supportive for these students to make sure they're practicing, to make sure piano lessons, violin lessons, music lessons in general are funded. So big shout out to all the parents and grandparents that are there and being supportive around all this. It wouldn't happen without you. Sometimes these things take a village. Next, we'd like to move to Malachi. Malachi's 15 and he's playing piano. Uh, he's playing Kabalevsky Sonatina. Hello, my name is Malachi. I'm 15 years old and I've been playing piano for seven years. Today I'll be playing Sonatina Opus number 13, number 1, Movement 1, by Dmitry Kavalevsky.
picked this piece because I enjoy playing up the contrast between the loud and exciting parts and the soft and connected parts. I'd like to thank my parents and my teacher for supporting my music. I thank you all for letting me play for you, and I hope you're staying safe. Superb job, Malachi. Very, very nice. And you did pay close attention to the dynamics. The soft part, the loud part, the more staccato parts and accented parts. Wonderful job. I'd like to move ahead now to Noah. He's seven years old and he's playing cello. This is a prelude from the cello suite by Bach. Hi, what's your name? Noah. How old are you? Seven. How many years have you been playing cello? One year. Okay. What are you going to play today? Prelude from box suite number one.
Now that's got to be the sweetest ever. Great job, Noah. Great job. Glorious, actually. Well done. And I hope Noah's sentiments are taken to heart that we are staying indoors and we are taking care of ourselves and staying safe. Good tip, Noah. Thank you. I'd like to continue with Leander. He's nine years old. He's playing piano, and this is a minuet in G major. And my note says G minor. So major, G major, and G minor? Well, we'll see about that from Bach's Family Notebook. My name is Leander, and I am 10 years old and in third grade at Uber River Charter School. I have been playing piano for five years, and my teacher is Mr. Floyd Perry Thistle. Today I'll be playing for you when you're at 1 and 2 by Christian Petzold from Box Notebook. One thing I like about that piece is that it's two parts and they're very different. I am also looking forward to going back to having lessons with my teacher so I can start Suzuki Piano Book 4. Thank you to my teacher, Mr. Floyd, and in Concert Sierra. Leander, terrific job. And you're right, it was G major and it had a section in G minor. You did a terrific job playing it. Thank you, and I guess I owe you an apology. I say you're nine, but I think when you recorded this, you had a birthday between that time and now, so I stand corrected. You are 10, and fabulous job. 
uh, come to the end of the show. We have 11 students and we have one left. This is Maura. She's 18. She's a cellist and she's playing the Prelude in Sarabond by J.S. Bach. My name is Maura Blair. I'm a senior at Sacramento Waldorf School. I've been a student in the Composers Project with Mark Vance for two years. Today I'm going to play Box Cello Suite Number no. 3, Prelude and Sarabond. Hope you enjoy.
that was a sublime job. Mora, wonderful job. Nice to end with Bach, especially on the cello. What a treat that is. Well, I think there are no doubts that students are practicing and they're performing and they're getting better. It's a wonderful thing. And In Concert is here to help encourage them to do that. And we're glad you're listening. We're pleased that you've joined in today and got to listen to a little, little bit, 11 students, and maybe you caught the first show on Friday. I hope you did because um, it's charming. It's charming and it's inspiring. And who doesn't need a little bit of charm and inspiration during these times, during the quarantine? So we're glad you tuned in. Uh, a special thanks to Dick Menser and Jim Heck who have uh, engineered all of this and made it possible to do online. So thank you guys. Uh, kudos to you. Reminding you that as we get back to normal, when that happens, there are plenty of education programs that are waiting for you to uh, tune into. We hope that this has been a little teaser for you. And again, some good news when we can all use some good news. So I'd like to say thank you and Stay tuned if you'd like to see a little bit of the education programs that we're going to be offering. Thank you.